in the film. <laughs> I was this one is just like a little bit Good afternoon everyone! In the spirit of the Dragon Boat Festival, Dog Show is all about sports. So, tie your shoelaces, put on your favorite Spotify playlist and come join us, Isho students, as we talk about sports, sports and maybe even some more sports. <laughs> I'm Seva and this is... Hey, and... Isabella. How's it going, guys? It's going. Cool. Do you enjoy the Dragon Boat Festival going around? I did not watch it. <laughs> I did not watch it either. Why not? But, but I heard a lot like about it online. Yeah, it's it's a very big Basically. celebration yeah, here. Yeah. Apparently, people like to get in the boat and the and row and yeah. row and row. Row your boat. Did you go? Nah, pff, no. No, I'm uh, because no. I'm very busy studying again, yeah. and uh, finals are uh, closed. Yeah, finals are closed, and I just unfortunately I don't have time. Even on the weekend, I I just you know I'm in my books, and uh, yeah, I'm studying uh, every day basically. So unfortunately, I cannot come. So that's why I ask you guys about we're your experience during this time. We're in the same boat as you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then maybe at least uh, you did catch some, you know, festivities going on downtown. <laughs> no. 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 Not no. even a single one. No. The what? The the festivities going all over the town. No. Down town. No. no? no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Where do you guys go then? <laughs> how how could you not? I stay at home. You, oh, you you studying too? Yeah, of course. Wow. Finals. <laughs> At least did you go see the the boats themselves, the people row, as a I, competition? I caught some actually at yeah, downtown, um, and I also saw the competition that they had with balancing the eggs. Um, mm -hmm. They put the eggs on the floor or like on a ground surface, and they try to balance that egg. I have no idea yeah. why though, but there were some. I eggs. thought it's impossible. So you say the people are actually doing it? They did it, yeah. Maybe I should, you know, stop. But it, it has a meaning, I believe. Ooh, what, what is it? What is it? I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like if you can balance like good fortune or something like that. Oh. I don't know, like something like that. That wow. actually makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And because it's very hard to balance yeah. the egg, just as it as hard as it hard to balance your fortune if it <laughs> can be balanced at all probably yes but people need to believe in something and i hope we hope it works right mm. Mm -hmm. and but yeah after all our topic today is related to sport i Not see you guys it. in a very good fit mm. unlike me because <laughs> uh, i've been eating a lot lately and uh, studying books again and uh, <laughs> Um, I got myself a bit, you know, down. So, do you guys have dumplings? No, I still haven't tried any dumplings here in Taiwan. Even the notorious, <laughs> notorious, the only one, <laughs> Chongzi. <laughs> it's very special. Uh, what did I say? Did I say it wrong? <laughs> no. I think I said it right. You said Maybe it you right. heard it wrong. I said you it right. Just it if you heard it wrong, that's your problem. <laughs> okay. So, did you try it? No, I haven't tried it. Did you? Like no dumpling at all. So, dumpling that is not a dumpling. <gasps> yeah, I have tried the dumplings <laughs> and that zonji. 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 That thing. I have tried it, yes. Yeah. It's very special. It's considered it's a very rice, special. It's rice. It's yeah. interesting. Does it have anything inside? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very picky, so I mm. took it out. Oh. But I don't know 
what exactly was it in? But I know it was rice sticky. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. so Did you try it? Me? No. Uh, I only eat High Life and 7 Eleven <laughs> <laughs> because I cannot eat anything else because uh, yeah, my stomach says uh, nope. Oh. Nope. We only eating High Life 7 Eleven. So Maybe sometimes Family Mart, but not more. Mm. Yeah. Asian food is just not for me. Except some, you know, bubble tea. Oh. Oh, but yes, that's not a food, right? Good. Yeah. And um, during the walks around the park, you can see a lot of people, especially old ones, mm -hmm. practicing Tai Chi, oh. a form of internal martial arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, they usually do it because they believe it's uh, good for their health. And um, do you integrate such uh, exercises in your daily life? Maybe like in yoga or something? Sometimes like... <clears throat> sometimes I do like integrate yoga, but it's not that often, like it's not a routine. Mm -hmm. But like sometimes when I notice that I've been sitting on the computer for too long, I'm just like, I need to get back on that yoga. So yeah. What about you? No, <laughs> no, I don't do tai chi. No, 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 no tai chi for you. No. Not even on like sleep or sleep Monday no. morning. No, just my required <laughs> physical class aerobics. I take aerobics. So wow. that well, mostly the class is just in Chinese. So I have to be like in front, and the teacher just does the the dancing, and you just have to follow her, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So do you see any boys there? Yeah, there are like four boys, I think. And the rest are girls? Yeah, girls. And how many of them? But th there were yeah. some boys that were really good, like they were better than girls. So, mm -hmm. it depends your rhythm. Yeah, maybe uh, if you say that there are only four boys and many girls, maybe I should, I should <laughs> go check out. I saw myself. the boys more in the class. <laughs> the girls were on their phones. Oh, you really? can become so, the fifth boy. Yeah. I definitely can, right? Yeah, yeah. sure. And you can show me around. <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately no Tai Chi for either of us. <laughs> I myself... Um, well, I used to do the Tai Chi when I was uh, younger mm -hmm. because I was uh, very interested in um, uh, martial arts. Yeah, and... Uh, Is it like Chinese martial arts? Uh, yeah, all, all kind of martial arts. Mm -hmm. I used to, I used to practice like... I used to try a bit of everyone. So is there like a Russian martial art? No. Oh, okay. No, we, we stole all martial arts from other countries. Mm -hmm. And we practice them by <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, it's just because um, my parents, they, uh, they saw me, you know, sitting at home playing computer games and they're like, that's not how the kid should grow up. Mm -hmm. And so they put me in different. So they they send me fighting, basically. <laughs> wow. like, okay, instead of you sitting home, you get. You learn how to defend yourself. They said, and uh, yep, I was learning, learning, learning. But because I wasn't really like into it, I mean I liked it, in a way. But sometimes it was very painful experience. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, I want to try that one and that one and that one. And I've never stayed longer, maybe than a year. So yeah, I had a bit of different martial arts. That's actually cool, interesting. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you for acknowledging that. No, because like I feel like a lot of parents should send their kids to to like study how to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, that's a that's an important skill that most of us should have. Yep, and let's. Um, talk about the countries you came from. So, we know that in Japan, their uh, national sport is sumo, when big, big guys trying to push each other over the lane. Uh, and like, or the Gala Games in Ireland, uh, which I don't know what it is. Uh, it's like football. It's like football, yes. Uh, so, what is your national sport? Uh, in the Emirates, they have camel racing, wow. but also like horse racing, basically just racing. Did yeah. you try it? 
No. Well, in Honduras, like everyone goes crazy for soccer. Oh, yeah. Yep. So it's like soccer, everyone, boys, men, they just go crazy for it. So you can say our national sport is soccer. <laughs> yeah. I think same goes to Russia because. Yeah, the uh, World Cup there. Yeah, we had the, in 2018, we had the World Cup. And, uh, but the thing is, like, we have all four seasons. And uh, technically, eight months a year, you cannot play soccer outdoors. Mm. Yeah, because it's, my, it's the minus temperatures and uh, I mean some kids are still playing in the snow. I, I used to play it in the snow, uh, yeah, and if you ever get to play football, I mean soccer, football, soccer, who likes what, uh, in the snow, here's a life hack for you. So in order to prevent your feet from getting wet, you take, uh, you know, those small bags that they have um, in the shops, like for you to put fruits oh. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you take these bags, you put it as a so on your socks, like you know, tie it yeah. here, and you can go play football, literally in the water or in wow. like in the snow in our case. Yeah. So you, and your feet won't get wet. Yeah. <laughs> Life hacks from Silva. Life hacks from Silva. <laughs> yeah. For those who love the winter soccer, uh, if they still exist. Um, so yeah, because uh, football is very popular back home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like all the boys, there is. We we used to skip school just to play soccer, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. And even though our school didn't have a let's say a proper stadium, mm -hmm. like it was just like a closed, like a little one territory, and uh, <laughs> one goal post was uh, stolen by homeless people. Oh, yeah, so what? One, so you know how the the football field looks like, right? Yeah, yeah. The two goalposts, right? Like the, the gates, the gates. Gate. Yeah. So one got stolen by homeless people, and they made a shelter out of it. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we had only one. <laughs> so we were like playing like the games that only could be played with the one goalpost. Oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that was a fun time. But in winter, actually, when the Football be stops being like very popular. It's the hockey, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the ice hockey. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Great time. So ice hockey, yeah, I would say ice hockey. It's a national sport. So, so there are lots of activity centers strewn about the town. Do you ever join? You know, in any activities with the locals, or you prefer solo, solo team? I definitely prefer going solo. I don't like playing with people because they tend to, <laughs> <laughs> they tend to have different tastes than I, than I do or I have. And so just like play what I want to play. I feel like it suits me better. So what's your favorite play to play? <laughs> I like mind games, like mind game. chess, things like that. I'm not really such a like a physical person. I don't really like playing sports that much, but I do enjoy volleyball, which unfortunately is a team game. <laughs> but I also play skateboard. I've been learning how to cycle on a bicycle because no one ever taught me. Wow. That's so sad. It is. <laughs> it's very That's sad. So sad. <laughs> what about you? Um, yeah, I think. Like, I don't go out and just, oh, let's play, like, no, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not that type of person, but, yeah, if it's, like, bicycle for me, it's, like, I love going to the city and get a bicycle mm -hmm. and move around and instead of walking. I think I prefer bicycle than walking for me. <laughs> I feel like walking is an eternity. It's, like, 10 minutes walking in bicycle, it's only three minutes, yeah. you know? So, but I played uh, soccer in high school, so that's one of my favorite sports. So I think I'm used to uh, working in teams, but also I like to be alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good combination. You get to do yeah. both. Both worlds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever considered joining our the football team? But there's only boys. Yeah. But there's no they, girls they're, they're, teams. They're, but there are no like you know everyone's equal here, so you can yeah, join the boys. <laughs> how can I join the boys team? It will be weird. Yeah. No, actually, it's not in Chinese. Hmm? It's all in Chinese. Also. Yeah, I know, but I still managed to 
survived there. But I think it's because like the the rules were it. No, no. Not... Actually, when we when we go to the you know um, different uh, when we have a competition, right? When mm -hmm. we go to play with different teams from other universities, they like most of them actually mixed up. Oh. Like yeah, boys playing with girls. They they actually uh, some Taipei friends. They told me that Isho has the best soccer team. That yeah, we're have. pretty good actually. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, like, at, le at, at, at I least I know, right? <laughs> at <laughs> least in Kaohsiung. So maybe maybe you would be the first one in your favorite Isho team. I'll the be on the bench. Group. <laughs> it's okay. Make your make your way to the top. Maybe. <laughs> okay, moving forward. Are you a gym rat or? A couch potato. Yeah, I'm a couch potato. I'm not like technically, like, I don't sit like on the TV for long, but I do love walking. So I would prefer to not like sit for very long and instead walk, but like just keep moving. Mm -hmm. But I don't go to the gym because <clears throat> it's just like the constricted atmosphere of it. Like it's a closed area and I don't like that sort of feel. But I do love to like always keep moving. Mm -hmm. So you're like the the, the, the passive, active uh, yeah, 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 yeah. sportsman, mm -hmm. you know. So you yeah. don't like to be you know, mm -hmm. the whole day on the couch. Yeah, yeah. It, but it also not like a beast mode. Yeah, sportsman. exactly. Yeah, because yeah. like both sides tire me out, so I just go for the middle. There are times like I'm like, <gasps> I need to stop. I need to <laughs> like go out to yeah. something. I think I've seen you in a gym, in a school gym. <laughs> that was like decades. <laughs> but yeah, when I came here, I was like, no, I have to go to the gym. But this year, I haven't. Mm. Especially coffee. Yeah, it was closed so, for what? Almost. But yeah, I, if I have the opportunity to go to a gym, I would do it. But it's not like a regular thing. Mm. Yeah. I used to be a a gym. Like I used to live in a gym like, mm -hmm. when I was sixteen, and then I was. I was introduced to the world of, you know, fun. And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I suddenly lost the time for gym. Mm. Yeah, sad story of my life. And uh, so here's an interesting question for you. During your workouts, would you rather always listen to the same song or never be able to listen to music ever again? There you go. <laughs> That's a horrible question. I mean, when it's, when it's a new song, I will play it non-stop because it, I like the song. But then I will get tired of it and I want to stop it. But I think I would prefer just listen to the same song that work out without music. It's so boring. I cannot. I need an inspiration. Yeah, motivation. Yeah. The bass to <laughs> pump you up. Yeah. Yeah, I would choose to never listen to music again. Cause like I, I like I do that anyways. Like whenever I go for a walk, I tend to prefer to listen to what is happening around me. If I keep listening to music, like yeah, that's true. what's happening around me gets distorted and I can't focus. So I tend to not listen to music. Yeah, fair point. Good mm -hmm. point, ladies. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's a wrap for today's episode. Episode. And we hope you found our discussion about sports and our sports experiences very informative. Please make sure you subscribe, put like, and turn on notifications mm -hmm. for your sake. And uh, follow Isho Let It Show. Don't miss the content produced by Isho students. And we will see you around. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye.